and an already difficult task becomes that much greater. Um, but you know, we had our chances. We did some things uncharacteristically of ourselves. Um, but at the end of the day, they were just a better team today. Mike, what did you think of the offense in the second half? Um, I know we missed a bunch of layups. Um, I, I don't. I don't. It's hard for me, Jacob, to sit here right now. Um, and, and say for sure exactly what happened without the benefit of watching the film. Um, but I, I thought we got good shots. Uh, I thought we missed a bunch around the basket. I, I don't have the numbers you know, directly in front of me. I think, okay, so here we go. Nine for 28 and only only four threes. So eight for 24 from two. I mean, it's hard. It's hard. This league's hard. And obviously it's been well documented, the best defenses in the country. Uh, and so when you get opportunities to make layups, you got to make them because those things really show up at the end of games. But again, I thought we did some other things outside of offensively that really you know, hurt us. And, and, you know, Trey Mitchell made a big shot right there. We had him on the ropes, big possession there. And, and obviously that, that kind of put him at a little bit of ease there late in the game. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. You know, I'd have to ask the guys kind of how they how I process it is the same. You know, every every game in this league is a really really difficult challenge, um, and we're all learning that we're all going to take some lumps. It's going through this deal. I mean, you know, we lost a couple in a row. They lost a couple in a row. You know, at some point, everybody's going to go through it. Just a matter how you respond. And so, who the given opponent is on the day, you try not to overthink it. Um, just prepare as best you can. It, it, it's, you know, I, in the ideal world, right, everybody would play the other nine teams before you play anybody twice. But that's not that's not where I think it happened when the year I was an assistant coach. Uh, but I know there's a lot of things that go into making the league schedule, and some of it's just unavoidable. You said the offense was uncharacteristic in some areas in the second half. What stands out to you there? I thought we made too many individual plays. Now, obviously, late, you know, we needed somebody because – you know, Bryce had it going. We needed to try to put the ball in his hands and let him create. But I didn't think the ball moved nearly as well really throughout the game, not just in the second half, but even in the first half. It didn't move quite as well in the half court as it needed to. And so when that happens, you got to get out and transition and steal easy baskets. That's how we came back. We were getting stops, and the plays were easy in transition. But in the half court, we got to be more committed to moving the ball. And we got the ball in the KB. Felt like he kind of was coming out of his shell a little bit today. But we didn't get the level of production even there that we, you know, normally expect. So, again, it was a tough day at the office, uh, but we know we got a lot of work to do to get back. Well, some of that was not having Bryce win. Yeah, but again, you know, I'm not going to – it is what it is. got to play the guys that are available to you. Certainly a big part of our team. Um, but when he's healthy and ready to play, he'll play. Until then, we got to play the guys who are healthy and ready to go. It was good to see Donovan Williams get out there and make a positive contribution for us. Um, and again, it's just an opportunity to learn and grow. And there's a lot of basketball left in, in this Big 12 season, you know. And so we just can't hang our heads. We've got to figure out how to get better. That 13 0 run they had to start the game. What's kind of the message when you're calling timeouts and the defense changes so well? Was it defense is going to change this? What, what, what was the message? There? You know what? I mean, I, I've been around basketball all my life, and I've seen teams, again, I'm speaking from the outside, right? They, they had not played up to whatever the expectations have been. And certainly losing uh, on what, Tuesday, I guess it was, uh, probably put them on their heels a little bit. And so team backed into a corner with that much talent and uh, a high-level elite coach is going to respond. So I wasn't surprised that they started the game off as well as they did. Uh, I was more surprised that we didn't respond before the timeout. Um, and so once the timeout happened, I thought they settled down and, and really got back to defending the way we're capable of because – Again, it was 13-0. They scored 43 points the rest of the way. <laughs> so, I mean, I think they made their four, first four shots, and at halftime they only had nine made field goals. And so, you know, we showed that we're capable. We just got to do it more consistently. Is that consistent? It's, it seems like it's escaping at times for you. How do you grab it? How do you figure out consistency? It's got to grow up. It's got to grow up. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's rocket science. Uh, we got guys stepping into new roles and trying to figure out who's going to lead the team on a given day. And, you know, on a day like this, you know, Bryce Thompson was the only one that really popped his head up and played at a high, high level 
took a lot of shots to get there, but we needed them all. Um, but we just got to get guys collectively to grow up and be more accountable to, to bringing it every single game, men mentally, not physically, but mentally, just understanding how hard it is. And again, we got a bunch of guys who've never had to carry a team through this gauntlet. And so, you know, last year was a little easier. We had a cheat code every time we walked into a building. Uh, this year, we got a bunch of guys who got to learn how to get better. Mike, what do you think about the front court battle, specifically with Texas? It seemed like Bishop and Cunningham as receivers were some really tough, great players down the stretch there. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're good players. I mean, I'm not I'm not surprised. Um, Christian Bishop played on a championship level program for a couple of years. He, he knows what winning looks like. You know, Dylan Dessou was a high level producer in a power five league. So was Timmy Allen. So was Marcus Carr. They got really good players and, and they have an elite coach. And I think a lot of what they struggled with was just people on the outside have no idea how hard it is to get all of it put together. And I'm not saying it's anybody's fault, but the expectation that they would all just magically show up here and like, are they going to average 110 points? Like it's the only way they can continue to do what they've done before. Otherwise, everybody's got to sacrifice a little bit. And it's, it's part of the process and they're figuring it out and they're going to win a lot more ball games uh, because they have a, a lot of talent and seem like unselfish guys because I'm, I would imagine that practices haven't been the most comfortable the last few days. Coach Beard having to get his message across on what it takes to win it in this league. And obviously those kids took his message to heart and, and responded the right way. You have an update on Bryce on your timetable? No, I mean, again, day to day, I think, is probably where we are now. Um, we thought he would be able to try to go yesterday in practice and wasn't. And then obviously with an early game, we didn't have a shoot around. So it was difficult to just throw him out there considering how swollen it was on Wednesday night. So we'll get back. We're off tomorrow. We don't play till Wednesday. And we'll get another update probably either tomorrow evening or Monday morning. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.